Okay guys, so tonight we are tasting Earl Stevens Moscato. It is 11% alcohol. Uh, pregnant women shouldn't drink. It's a new year, but I feel like I still am responsible, responsible for saying it. Pregnant women shouldn't drink. Don't operate a motor vehicle if you are too lit. Do not uh, uh, operate heavy machinery. All that good stuff, because you're not about to blame me for nothing. Okay, so Earl Stevens, California Moscato. Earl Stevens, if you did not know, which I did not know until Twitter informed me, is E40, a Bay rapper. Okay, so I had no idea this black man had his own wine. I would have been tested this out. I would have been tested it out. And if you knew, I'm sure y'all would have told me because y'all do be hitting me up for the recommendations. Not as much as I want to. I want y'all to interact more. But I'm just saying. So anyway, Earl Stevens Moscato. Oh, I should show you. I'll get up in a minute. I got something else for y'all. Anyway, so Earl Stevens Moscato, California. Earl Stevens Selections. This delicious Northern California Moscato is sweet and refreshing. Always best when shared with friends. This wine delivers on its own or alongside your favorite meal. Okay, Napa, California. So this is a Moscato. Picked this up at a local liquor store because Total Wines is sold out of everything. It hit Twitter that he had wine along with um, a hard liquor like mix, like a cocktail mix almost. And everybody went crazy. People was looking for it, myself included. And one site that I found, the hard liquor, it was $20 a bottle, not a problem. Added like three of them to my cart. Tell me why shipping was $50. I think not. I think not. No, ma'am. So, and I'm like, well, I'm close to the liquor store. Let me just see. They had the wine and the hard liquor, but we'll discuss the hard liquor in a minute, okay? So, on total wines, it say floral aromas pour out of this glass in a cafani. A cafani. Ca. Cacopany. Like Cacopius. Cacopany. What is cacophony? According to wikipedia.org, cacophony is the effect of sounds being perceived as harsh, unpleasant, chaotic, and often discordant. These sounds are perhaps meaningless and jumbled together. Cacophony. That don't sound like a good word for mine. Okay. Oh, I should try to light a tree. This is a corkscrew. Lord, I don't want to start no fires. I definitely want to purchase kind of weak. that um, oh, shit. Wine opener he got, he was busting through them wine bottles like it was nothing, like seriously. And I heard it's on Amazon. Is it moving? I'm scared. <laughs> Probably the wrong one to do this science experiment. Is this foil you gonna burn? This floral, floral aromas pour out of this glass in a cacophony of honeysuckle, gardenia, orange blossom, white cherry, apple pear, and peach. The flavors are very pleasant with lightly sweet layers of fruit. The finish is smooth, fruity, and nicely blended. It's a white wine. I can't tell if it's moving or not. You know what? I, I, this, I'm the wrong goofy person to do this. Like, for real, I, I think I'm going to pass on this. It's not bad. kind of second guess if this was really wine which is weird extremely extremely smooth okay there is no aftertaste there's no like you know how you drink some wines and kind of got like that buzz to it right in the chest maybe it's just me it has no burn to it it's smooth it's like straight water you can smell okay this is liquor but tasting it it does not taste like alcohol that much very very slightly extremely extremely smooth so i do agree with the person that left that review the sweetness is so faint which is cool because if you like really sweet Moscatoes, like really sweet Moscatoes, like 
basically like uh, sweet reds or sweet white, a velvet white or whatever. Um, not a velvet white like this one though. Not, not like that one, just so we clear. You might not, you might like this, but it, don't expect for this to be extremely sweet. It is not extremely sweet. Very, very smooth. Uh, I can see how you could drink the whole bottle by yourself. Well, I see, I say that about a lot of wines. That's just me personally. <laughs> bad as far as percentage. The smells, it smells stronger than it tastes. And even the scent of the wine is not very strong. This is such a low-key box. I kind of think I got a new favorite. Um, peach. Okay, so I definitely taste the peach in this pear. People say pear, but I feel like pear is one of them hard flavors to like pick up on. Because pear as a fruit is just like very boring to me. Like the flavor is just kind of like, eh. You got to be in the mood to pick up a pear. People, personally me, I'm not just picking up pear fruit for the hell of it. I just don't do that because the taste isn't that great to me. So I definitely can taste the peach. Um, honeysuckle, yes. Apple, yes. White cherry, orange blossom, gardenia. Maybe you have to have a more, not mature, but you know what I'm trying to say. You may be one of the people that could pick up on taste like that. Oh God, the the white cherry. Ooh, the the uh, uh, the pear. If you're one of the people, then maybe you could taste that. Personally, I can't call that out unless I've seen the description, and I still can't taste like ooh gardenia. Like it it doesn't work that way for me. But peach, I can definitely pick up pick up on. So yeah, guys, I don't want to make this too long. Again, this is the Earl Stevens Moscato. I really want to find that mango scotto because I just feel like that's just going to be so good, but I cannot find it in stock nowhere. So yeah, $10, local liquor store. Check check the low key spots because sometimes people forget about them. I know I did because I haven't been to that specific liquor store in about two years and they had it. This going to sneak up on you. It's only 11%, which isn't, you know, too bad at all for a wine, but it will sneak up on you because it is so smooth. That, like, wine is supposed to be sipped or whatever, but this is so, again, smooth. You can literally just drink it like water. Like, it will definitely sneak up on you. Now... This will be in another video, and I can't wait. I think I'm going to bring AB back. <sighs> Look what I found. Okay, so I found Category 5 Slurricane 20% alcohol by volume. This is a Hurricane Premix cocktail, rum with natural flavor, certified in caramel color since 1985 E40. Magazine Street. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm going to try to record a video with this this weekend. 